Exactly, yeah. So in my learning class, which I'm actually gearing up to teach again here in a few weeks, uh, we would do case studies regularly that would basically expand upon different topics that we were covering in the course. Uh, so we would cover a case study in class. I could airdrop and kind of do an interrupted case study style so they could kind of uh, go through the, the storyline and, and, and work through the concepts. And then following selected case studies, they would do what we called a, a mini project. So they had to, in this project, summarize what they learned from uh, the case and then extend it in some way. And they needed to bring in outside research and say, hey, I've, I've really, uh, or this case study may be focused on Pavlovian conditioning. And so now here's another article that expands upon this one particular topic that we talked about within it. Uh, and so they could uh, submit these uh, little reflection assignments as either a paper assignment, so a couple pages, uh, which is what the assignment was originally when I uh, had taught it in previous courses. Wow. Uh, but then I thought, well, now we have this iPad. <laughs> they have this ability to record in different ways. So they could maybe do an audio podcast yeah. that presents that same information. Uh, or they could create a video, much like what you're doing right now, and maybe talk through it. Or they could create an animation, maybe using Explain Everything. Uh, and so I c developed a, a common rubric that I could use that basically I'm looking at content, which you can present in any of those mediums. Uh, you can also look at how are they organizing their thoughts. Uh, you can do that in written and also auto audio and, and video. Uh, and then even considering things like grammar and uh, what I'm stumbling on right now, <laughs> using fillers and things like that, uh, but you can kind of assess uh, their editing capabilities in, in, in that uh, in much the same way. So here I, I'm opening it up to students to be able to uh, present that they understand uh, uh, the, the learning uh, objectives of that assignment, and they're meeting those objectives, and they're able to do it in a much more accessible way. Wonderful. Yeah.